Hey, so we're the Ink Brothers. Uh, I'm Chris and my brother Corey. And with the release of Dreams for PS4, we would like to go ahead and start making tutorial videos so people who don't know how to do certain things can go ahead and uh, make the things they really want to make without having too much of a struggle here. Uh, so we wanted to start out with something really, really simple. Uh, this grass right here. So upon getting Dreams, uh, you and you you know do a few of the tutorials they have you don't have to watch me if you don't want but they are really really helpful uh, if you are doing the art tutorial they have this one scene where you play as Connie their main character and you're running around in her little garden and then they drain all the color and texture out of the whole scene and uh, they have you rebuild it they uh, give you like a green or a sphere that you have to turn into grass first you paint it green then you loosen it up and you get grass that looks kind of like this. Uh, it's really fluffy and wild and everywhere and it looks really really good just from the get-go. Uh, but something that you don't realize in that tutorial is that if you try and do this yourself, you start your own creation, make a little sphere or something or, uh, or a square or a plane and you want to make your own grass and you try pinning it green and loosening it, you don't get anything near that looks like this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it to make it look just like this. Right, so uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make yourself a shape. So whatever you want your grass to look like, whether you want like a flat plane like this or, or, a, um, or a circle or a sphere, however you want to do your grass. Here, I'll even go ahead and show you. So you want to open your men menu, come over here. Uh, pick your shape. I'll start with a sphere. All right. And so I'm just going to plop it down just like that. Ooh. Excuse me. I like to do the stamp mode. That way I don't, I have a clean shape. I'm just going to stamp it down like that. And I'm going to come out. Okay, and then we want to make it green. So we want to go in here, go up to our colors. And... You can make this whatever color you want, but I'm just going to stick with green just to show you how to do it. Alright, so then you want to paint green like so. Alright. You're going to come out of your menu by holding L1 and circle. And just so I can show you, if you were to do this yourself, it would look something like this. So you immediately go into your style menu, you go to loosen, which kind of loosens up the flex on any one object. And the flex is kind of like... Uh, what makes up a certain object. So loosening it will make it kind of just not as crisp, kind of rougher in appearance. And so uh, when you do that here, you get something like, like this. And that is not what happens in the art tutorial. So I can go ahead and take that back by hitting left on the D-pad. I'm, I'm using a DS4 controller, by the way. So if you're using the uh, move controllers. I don't really know what the, the buttons are on that, <laughs> but we'll figure it out and let you know in the future. So when you loosen it in the art tutorial, you get something that looks like that. And that's what we want. All right, so let's go ahead and edit this real quick to make it do that. All right, so you want to be back at your main menu. You want to hold L1 and square to bring up your object menu or scope into it. So uh, you want to go up here. This is going to be your flex properties. This is where you want to go first. So you want to increase your ruffle all the way up. And what that does is it gives you kind of like a wild effect like this. How the blades of grass are going in every which direction. Now if you left it at zero, your grass would be would come straight up and it would look more like a cut lawn rather than being in the nature. So if that's what you want then leave your ruffle where it is all right but since I'm going for more of a nature look I'm gonna bring it all the way up and you can adjust it however you want and then past though it's gonna come up to about 120 like that doesn't have to be perfect but right about there and what that does is it turns your your blades of grass instead of like a 2d blade of grass it'll be a 3d blade of grass so you can see the individual grass blades from every angle as you walk around. All right, so then you want to come over here to do, 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 where are we at? Right here, effects, this middle one. 
So you're going to want to turn up uh, your boil to about six. And you want to turn up your wave to about 16. So what boil does is it's going to uh, make your objects kind of um, evaporate upwards. You know, kind of like you're boiling water. You know, that's the effect that it gives. Uh, we don't want to do too much of that. Uh, it's only going to make our wave here more effective. So the wave is what makes it look like it's blowing in the wind. So it's just going to help it pop out just a little bit more. You don't have to do it if you want. But this is uh, what they did in, the, in their art tutorial. All right, so you want to close this out. I want to circle again. And then you want to come over here to your style menu. All right, so now we want to change the flex on it. Because right now, if I loosened it, here, I'll even show you. We're starting to get closer to that effect, but this doesn't look like grass at all. You know, it looks like a squarey rough circle. You know, uh, you could probably use this some other means, like a cannonball. Uh, I can't think of anything else right off the top of my head that you would use something like this for. But uh, if you hit triangle and you hold R2 again, you'll take all that away. So that's what we want to do. And I just hit triangle again to go back to add. So what we want to do is we want to make it look more like grass. So we want to come over here uh, to this one, streaky. To me, this one looks the most like grass. If you want to go for Baroque or Impressionist, uh, I don't think either one of those look like grass once you actually applied it, but you know, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and do that too. Come back to the main menu, make sure you have apply flex check, and you just want to hold it down on R2 until it's all the way out. Alright, and now we want to come here over here to looseness, and when you do it like this, now you start to get that grassy look. Alright, and so you can take like a, and you can loosen it as much as you want. You want it really crazy looking like that. But I don't want it that crazy. I'm just going to come down and make it look like that. Alright. Oops, sorry about my bad. Come out of your style menu. Close that. And so now, you can place this on here. So, say you are decorating like a dirt road or something and you don't want it to be, your, your grass to be super square and have corners as you place it down. You can use a spear to kind of like, you know, melt it. Here, I'll even show you. So let's do this. Actually, you know what? We're gonna, in the looseness here, we're gonna take away the looseness for this one. And I'm just gonna paint it brown so I can show you. Okay, let's see. So we're going to our menu, we're going to coat mode. We want to make sure we're on tint, colors. We want to come over here to brown for dirt. Just gonna paint brown. I don't like that brown. I'm doing this brown. Okay, that looks more like a dirt trail. All right. So now we want to move this over here like so. It's just an example. You can make it flatter if you want, but if you take it all like this, like that, some of blau. Some blowdy blow. You know, you can make this one bigger so it covers a little bit more area. And as you can see, oh, here, let me show you. So I can copy and paste this so I don't have to do each individual one. So I, if you hold X and just kind of go over them, you select them all, hold L1, hit R2, and you've now officially made a copy. So you can just bring it over here, slap it down on this side, and you have a nice little. Here, oh boy, like a nice little trail. So over here I'm holding L2 so I can adjust it like so. All right, and so as you can see, I can make, I could probably make this dirt a little bit rougher to make it look like a trail. Okay, or a path. Oh, my menus, okay. Now, something you wanna be careful of when you do this is, um, if you're increasing these spheres to cover more distance. Okay, right now the grass all looks about one size. So, let's say I had like a large field and I really wanna cover a lot of distance, you know, and I don't wanna keep making these clones or I wanna save space. If I did that, you know, I could put this here, right? 
but then as you're walking through it this grass is short and all of a sudden this grass gets really really big and it doesn't look like the rest of everything else so if you want to cover a large distance I would suggest instead of changing the size sizes of these spheres too much I would suggest that you make just a bigger cube or sphere in the first place and um, do, use something like this what I've already done here uh, that's pretty much it that's the grass that they had in the tutorial and it uses up a lot less space than doing individual paint strokes as grass and copying pasting them everywhere so this is a better way to go in that standpoint unless you know you want to that's all you want just a little grass patch and just make it real quick and put it in your level but if you're like covering a big distance this is the much better way to go all right so i also want to take this opportunity to uh, go ahead and thank mini molecule for making such an awesome game dreams is everything that i personally wanted in a game slash program you know i've tried things like unity unreal and all those things i've always wanted to put my ideas out there but all those other programs are just too much for me honestly you know i it's, it's a lot to learn it's a big learning curve and it takes a lot of time to do all that but dreams is so user friendly creator friendly and it's a revolution really i think and something like this is bound to go far and i really want to be part of the community and the uh the overall dreams adventure so thanks me molecule for making such a great game and um Hope you guys enjoy the our this tutorial and our future ones. Bye.